Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. It is deadly hot, but I had to turn off the AC to talk to you guys. Otherwise, it's like shh. Um, so that's the first thing I wanted to say. Second thing I wanted to say is I am wearing the same sweater as I was wearing in my last TG Maxx video. That's just because I have no clothes. And like whenever I find something, I wear it like 85,000 times. Uh, so <laughs> there's that. Also... For today's video, I wanted to do something a bit different. So typically, I go to TJ Maxx with you guys and I share with you guys what they have and then I share with you guys a haul at the end of the video. But for this video, I wanted to go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Now, I might be biased towards TJ Maxx just a little bit because I feel like I just connect with that store a little bit more. I find that they have more makeup products, more clothing products in general, and the store is generally a bit cleaner and easier to like uh, maneuver. With Marshalls, I feel like it's kind of the opposite. I've gone to Marshalls many times in the past. I never really found a bunch of products there it's always messy the line is always 10 billion times longer than tj maxx's line and the makeup there is usually more overpicked than tj maxx that's at least my experience but for today's video i wanted to see like what both stores have even though like i said i'm a bit biased towards tj maxx i still want to see which store is going to win so let's go ahead and get started with tj maxx and then we'll head to marshall's all right guys we're back to the section of tj maxx I just wanted to start off by telling you guys that I saw people literally swatching stuff and I didn't know if it was my place to say anything or not say anything, but what would you guys do? I'm just curious to know because I feel like it's so wrong and like I want to say something but I don't want someone to be like, uh, who the hell are you? You know what I mean? Even though I don't give a shit what they think, but I don't know. It kind of bothered me, but anyways, let me show you guys what I found in this section. This is the e.l.f. Kabuki brush. It's so cute. It's tiny. There's a little cover to it too. And this is $2.99. It doesn't look like the best quality of life and it's a little bit cheapy feeling. I only found one of them so I'm assuming people were interested in it and bought a few. Um, and then I found a few Becca products here which are pretty, pretty cool. So I found both of these. These are the mineral blushes. Actually, no, my bad. So this is the mineral blush in that shade. Hin, whatever. I'm not pronouncing it. And then I found this multitasking perfecting powder so I hope this is not broken because it looks like it kind of is but let's see how this looks okay so this is the perfecting powder in the shade tan it is swatched it's bothering me so much now because like I've seen swatch products you guys know I do these videos weekly but actually seeing people do it in front of my face it's kind of like what what are you doing you know what I mean anyway this is in the shade tan and it's retailing for $9.99 I don't know who's gonna buy it because it's swatched but um, it's $9.99 okay and let's see the moment of truth for this blush Oh, it's such a nice color. Please don't be swatched. Please, let me see. I don't think that this is swatched. Yay! It's a really beautiful, deepened color. I think it would be super pigmented too, so you need very little. This is $7.99. You know I'm getting this. You know. Okay, and then the next thing that I found that was from Becca as well. This is the Soft Light Blurring Powder in Pink Haze. You guys can see there's some powder here, so I don't know if it's broken or what, but let's check it out. Hey, I actually think that it's not open, even though the box has some powder on it. Maybe it's from a different powder, but this is how the packaging looks. Super stunning. It's like this in this really nice acrylic package, and it says Becca on it. So nice. And then you open it up. And then the sticker is still like on it, it's sealed. And I try to pull this to see if it's loose and it's not, it's super, super tight on there. Ooh, yo. I've never tried this product from Becca. How much is it? $12.99. I'm thinking, is it worth it to pick up? I've never tried a pink powder, have I? I love the packaging. Obsessed with it. <laughs> okay, and then finally, I found these from Real Techniques. Uh, these are, I found two of them. These are the Real Techniques uh, Miracle Sponges, and you get like a, um, oh, it's so cute, like a little baby stand here too for both of them. They're both pretty tiny, and um, how much is this? $3.99, pretty decently priced. I'm still looking for that like unicorn collection from Real Techniques. Still haven't found them, but really cute to see these here. I'm probably not gonna pick these up because I don't really enjoy the orange sponge that they have. Um, so I'm thinking this might be the same, but also I really like the beauty blenders. So I don't feel the need to actually purchase this even though it's a pretty good price. And then, I know I spoke to you guys about this last time, but I see a bunch of the ABH thick foundations. Last time I saw like only one or two, and now I see like one, two, three, for you know like a whole bunch thinking if it's a sign for me to pick it up or if it's not but then i also found this kat von d eyeshadow in the shade paranoid i've seen other shades on this line but not necessarily this one and i think it's really pretty like a stunning blue ocean blue color these are the cover effects contour kits and they're 12.99 freaking cheap we have three of them here I'm just curious to know is this like light to medium or medium to dark like are there shades or oh yeah so this one right here is deep 
second medium deep which might work out for me better than deep um, and this one is deep so let me see how this one looks see if it works out for my skin okay I cannot believe that this is here so from the outer packaging I couldn't really tell what it was but I've seen this at Sephora countless amounts of times never purchased it obviously but let's see how this looks wow okay why did somebody swatch that or is it just like that shoot it I would have gotten this Okay, let me go ahead and see how the deep one looks. Maybe that could work out for my skin. But there are three contouring shades here and that stunning cream um, highlighter, which I'm really into lately. So let me see how the deep shade looks. So this is the deep one. Oh, this is not going to work out for my skin. As much as I would love it to, probably wouldn't. And then I really want it for the highlighter as well. And this highlighter is super deep. It's like a little bit wet or oily. <laughs> then I see this Milani Moisture Luck grapeseed oil infused this looks so good it looks like the um, Clarins instant lip balms and it's $2.99 ah, I'm thinking I'm thinking I don't really like grape scented stuff but maybe I'll pick this up it looks really good I only found one of these I wish they would have had more scents to choose from but I think people purchased it because it's a good deal and it looks it looks pretty good I'm not gonna lie okay and then I found these Alpha Botanica fast fix for under eye circles I think I've heard of this brand, but I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, this one here is for puffy eyes. This is for thin lips. And they have a whole bunch there. This is actually really interesting. I don't think I have thin lips, but <laughs> one second. Fast fix for thin lips. It's pretty cool. Like It's like a plumping lip balm type of thing, $3.99. I'm okay. I'm good, but it's really nice to see these here. And then I see these Skin Fix uh, Natural Lemon Mint Lip Repair Balm. These look amazing. You guys know I'm addicted to lip balms and I just need 10,000s of them and I don't know where I heard of this brand from but I know it's not the first time I see it like anywhere I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up I always like to pick the one from the back do you guys do that too like just in case I don't know like I don't know who touched it <laughs> okay you guys I'm at this front section here I feel like my voice automatically gets lower <laughs> when I'm here what the hell is this? Oh my goodness, this is the first time I ever found Natasha Denona at TJ Maxx. It's $19.99 and this is the Natasha Denona On Cover Invisible Correcting Concealer Palette. Um, I don't know if this is, oh, it's medium dark. Let's see how it looks. This is how the packaging looks. It's really cute, pretty simple white with black lettering. Here's how the palette looks once you open it up. It's super tiny, the brush is so cute and it says Natasha Denona on it. Um, Natasha Denona. Um, so there are three different shades in here, but they are pretty deep for my skin. You guys can see from my hand to the concealers, like it's not going to highlight shit for my face. But if they would have had the light one, I probably would have picked it up. Regardless, this is amazing to see this here. And I only found one, so I'm like blown away. I'm like trying to dig deep to see if I can find more, but so far, no. Okay, then I found another powder here by Becca. This is the same powder we saw before in the shade Warm Honey, which I know will probably be deep for me, but it's cool to see this here. I also see these two MAC um, mascara. These are the Pro Beyond Twisted Lash Mascaras and they're $12.99 each. I just want to see how the packaging looks. I actually think that I saw this last time but the packaging is super, super bomb. I haven't really gotten into a lot of MAC mascaras. I, my first high-end mascara was a MAC one but since then I haven't really purchased one but I don't know. I, I, I kind of need it but like I don't at the same time because I have a drawer full of mascaras but the packaging is really dope. Look at that. It's like so trippy. I also see a bunch of these Kat Von D lipsticks that we've seen in the past but also this ABH lip gloss in the shade Caramel. It looks like such a stunning color. You guys know I would wear this. How much is it? $9.99. Eh. I mean if it would be five bucks I'd probably pick it up but I don't really feel the need to pick it up at this time because I have so many glosses but it's really cool to see. I'm thinking if there's anything else. We have some Glam Glow products that we've seen in the past too and that's pretty much it. Everything else we've seen here a million, bajillion, gazillion times. Okay, then I see a few of these Milani Eyebrow Tinted Fiber Gels. Uh, we have some in these shades 03, 04. I don't know, it doesn't look like a matte one though. It looks like it has maybe like a metallic -y tint to it. I don't know. I really like my Maybelline one and my L'Oreal ones. I don't feel the need to pick this up but it's $2.99. And then we have the Ardell Magnetic Lashes here which I bought from I think Rite Aid for probably the same price. I don't know how the hell to put these on. I saw Kathleen's video and she put it on like so effortlessly 
and I'm kind of like dying like wait what you know am I missing something um so I still have mine at home but like I suck at putting it on um I'm still not giving up though so I'll figure it out one day but it's cute to see this here I actually found one of these this is the bare minerals bare skin foundation heard billions of things about this I actually tried a deluxe size and really enjoyed it I wanted to purchase the full size but it never ended up happening um but this is actually in a very deep shade as you guys can see from the box it's 20 bucks if this would work out for me I would totally pick this up I think you're supposed to shake it and stuff but it looks really cool exciting to see this here I wish they would have had a whole selection of colors but I mean with TJ Maxx that's just how it is you find one or two you know what I mean okay I know that this is not makeup necessarily and it's not like makeup organizers either but I just passed this section and I just died on the inside this is freaking cute I mean kind of creepy at the same time <laughs> look at this guy this is so yum I don't need this but like I want it Five bucks? Come on, that's how they get your ass. Like something so cutesy like this, making it five bucks and feeling like you really, really need it in your life, you know? I want it, and there's only one of these little ones. Maybe it was just meant to be. The line is like deadly long. I'm just kind of like contemplating, I don't know. But then we have these up here, which I think are okay, not as cute, but oh my God, like hell yeah, baby. Okay, then moving on to the actual organizers, like makeup -y organizers. I found one of these, I purchased one of these last week and there was like a sticker on here and it just left a whole greasy, disgusting thing. Like I was just not about it, but it was like six bucks. And this one right here is $12.99. I mean, probably because it's a different brand, but I don't know, it looks the same. You know, like why would I pay 13 bucks for one if I can get it for so much cheaper? And I have a few over here. That's pretty cool. Um, and then I thought this was pretty cool too. I've seen this over here a few times already. And I just think it's cool. Like you can put brushes, you know, like baby brushes. I don't have a lot of small brushes, so I wouldn't get this. But bigger, medium, smaller brushes for $7.99. No bad. And it's kind of like cutesy to display. We have more of these guys here. We have the two like finger situations with this like marbleized bottom boss. Babe, this is so cute. I just, I'm not digging these fingers. <laughs> Why? Let me know what you think about this. Or is it just me? Um, then we have this one which is so cute. You could put rings on the little tail and then a unicorn one back here which is really adorable. So I'm waiting on the TJ Maxx line right for like an hour here. But look what I found. This is a Schmidt's, Schmidt's, whatever. I don't know how to say it but basically this is the natural deodorant. A bunch of you guys told me to come to TJ Maxx to pick it up because they sell it here for $4.99. So I'm probably not going to pick up the La Vanilla one during the VIB sale at Sephora because I have this. Hopefully it's going to work. It doesn't smell, oh my god, but it doesn't smell nasty either. So let's hope. So I'm at the checkout section, right? And I'm like digging through these makeup removing wipes. And I find these Clinique Take the Day of My Cellar cleansing towelettes. There are 50 in here and it's $10.99, which is pretty pricey. But I checked the ingredients and there is no alcohol in here, which is insane. That's what my issue was like with this one. There was too much alcohol. And this one, there's no alcohol, so I'm picking this up. I'm so excited. I love the uh, cleansing oil from this line and the um, other eye makeup remover from this line. So hopefully I like these two. Woo! Let me tell you. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. Stop it. Stop. I hate when the seatbelt noise thingy makes that. It's so annoying. So I picked up a nice amount of products from TJ Maxx. I'm pretty excited about it. They were about maybe like... I don't know 15 people in front of me in line and it went pretty fast i think i was waiting for maybe 10 minutes top so now let's go ahead and go to marshall's uh, before i die out of heat in this car <laughs> i'm gonna blast my ac and i'll see you guys in a second okay so i just stepped foot in marshall's firstly i see this nyx liquid suede um lip set so there are three different colors these are not typical shades that i would typically wear you guys can see they're like purpley three different shades of them and this is retailing for 4.99 so not bad for three different liquid lip lipsticks or suede lipsticks but I mean these are not shades that I would wear so um, if it would be nude you guys know I would get it but this is how all of them look they kind of look pretty cool I don't know I probably wear them once in my life though then I see these elf beautifully bare satin lipsticks I used to own all of these I love them they're actually really nice quality I have a ton of lip products I don't necessarily feel like I need them back in my life but this is $2.49 so not bad then I see this beauty shield one which I've never seen probably won't ever wear that kind of color but it's in the shade Berry Lock. You guys know these are not my shades, but this is so pretty. It looks really holographic -y and pretty and looks like gorgeous for e.l.f. And then there are more of these beautifully bare lipsticks in the back and this one is $2.99. Moving up here, you guys know how short I am, <laughs> but I see a bunch of the makeup erasers. So we have some pink ones and some black packaged ones as well. 
I actually saw these at Sephora and they're retailing for like 20 bucks and like you can totally go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls and get them for like $7.99. I purchased one of these um, but I honestly don't really really love them to be quite honest so I don't know I'm just kind of in between with them. Ooh, bending down to this section I see this little um, NYX trio. Um, it says yay new shade inside. These are typical shades that I would probably wear. Probably just this one. This looks really fun and this looks interesting. I probably wouldn't wear that one, but this is $4.99 and that's how they look. I don't know. They make it look so good here, but I feel like on my lips, it's not going to look like this, you know? There's only one left, so I'm assuming people are buying it, but I don't know. Like, I kind of, I don't know. I kind of want it now just from these damn pictures, okay? They, they know how to advertise so well, so I'm going to contemplate on this one. Do you mind if I film? <laughs> Okay, and then bending down to this section right here, I see this Marc Jacobs little lip set. So this came out, I believe, two years back. Not this past year, but the year before. Um, and this is how it looks. Here are the shades that are included in here. We have a little bit of everything. Pretty wearable colors, and the formula of these lipsticks are amazing. And $24.99! $24 so good! So good! Maybe! I only see one of those, though. Moving up to this section here, I see some of these Pixi products. So here is the Strobe and Sculpt little palette it doesn't look too oh my god um, then I see this this is the minimal makeup little palette you get eyeshadows blushes and a highlighter I think I have another one right over here not like crazy over that I see two of these Becca aqua luminous foundations that, that I've seen around another one of these bare skin foundations which we just saw at TJ Maxx the another one of this what else this is I'm taking I think um, Ooh, this is cool Oh man, one second. $14.99, why? Why do you gotta do that? Why do you gotta be so expensive? This is what shade though? Oh wait, oh foundation in shade 1.0 and soft contour. Is this like my color? Or am I dreaming right now? One second. I think that this is my color. I'm so excited for this. Okay, I just saw one of them. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation. So you get a foundation and then a contour bronzing uh, stick right here. Somebody totally swatched it. I don't know if you guys can tell but I could see in person Kind of upsetting because I did want to pick this up I would have purchased it because it's what it is my shade and I never find my foundation shades here or in TJ Maxx or in Marshall So it's such a bummer We have another one right over here, but this one is a bit deeper as you guys can tell the foundation shade is 2.3 Which is obviously not my color Um, I have another one here. Okay, fine. We're getting somewhere 2.1 this possibly might work. I'll open it up and see if anyone swatched it I see some of these Smashbox lip um, Palettes which I've seen in TJ Maxx in the past. So nothing too interesting Let's see. Let's bend down. I see this ABH um, Blush palette which someone actually just told me it's broken So I'm not gonna even open it up because she said it's broken another one of these Okay, fine. This is in the shade 1.1. All right. All right it's like at the lower I go, the lighter the shades. It's so interesting. I see this uh, Smashbox Studio To Go little lip kit. We have a red lipstick and then a lipstick transformer. Really cute. We have a whole bunch chilling here. I think that's pretty much it that I see here. We have the ABH um, Aurora Glow Kit, which looks just like that. Um, kids are crying and it's really loud in here, so I think I'm going to wrap it up. But yeah, then this sleek thingy. Okay, so I actually found this ABH lipstick in the shade Brandy. This is how the shade looks. I don't think that it's swatched. I mean, I can't necessarily tell 100%. Maybe a teeny bit swatched. I'm not sure. But it's $7.99. I probably won't wear such a shade generally anyway. But they are really nice quality, the ABH lipsticks. I don't even know why they're here. I guess they didn't do too well. I found another lipstick. So this one right here is in the shade Brandy, which I just showed you guys. It's so dirty here, nasty. Um, and then this one right here is in the shade Rouge. And this is how this one looks. This one's definitely definitely swatched but I would have totally gotten this one for sure like without a doubt because it's a bit lighter and more like coffee-ish you know I don't know anyway it's swatched so bye okay so I showed you guys that I bought one of these schmidt's schmidt's whatever deodorants and now at Marshalls I see a whole selection I didn't see this at TJ Maxx I would have loved to choose something that I really really loved like in regards to the scent I picked up no not that one I think a different one I think I think I picked up this one right over here it smells okay but I think I would have enjoyed the lavender one or the bergamot lime one. I don't know, okay? Whatever, it's fine. I'll use the one that I have. Hopefully I'll enjoy it. Oh my God, oh my God. What is this? This is so cool. This is from First Aid Beauty. This is bomb. One second. Get my short ass up here. Um, 
This is the first A Beauty Hello Super Spot little set. So you get a whole bunch of different stuff. Really cute. I haven't really used a bunch of their products, but they always have like this cutesy packaging going on. And it looks so Barbie-ish, you know? How much is this? It's $14.99. Not bad at all. Honestly, if I would take baths in my house, which I don't, I would probably buy this. But because I don't, I'm not gonna buy it. But it's cute to see it here. It would be such a cool gift as well. I'm not gonna pick this up or anything, but look at these tushies. I mean, the packaging is freaking freakishly, oh my goodness, 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 cheap. But like, look at this little man, a little woman, driving a little like sponge. So cute. Stop being so cute, okay? So I'm by the brush section at the Marshall store. Um, and I'm looking for like the Real Techniques unicorn bl brushes, blushes. I can't find them. There's a whole bunch of brushes here, but none of the Real Technique ones to be found. It makes me so sad. I thought I would find maybe one here, but I guess no. This is pretty cool though, before I go. It's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know how good the quality is. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I love it. <laughs> That's how my brother talks. I love how this looks. Okay. I really wanted that smash small i really wanted that smashbox um foundation and a cream contour like duo and then that lip kit from nyx like that trio of lip products and i took it with me right i was so excited for them pretty good deals the line was insanely long i was not going to wait on it green light one second anyway so the line was insanely long and there was no way in hell i was going to wait even though i wanted those products i really truly did and together they would have been like what 20 bucks which i think is such a great deal but the line was insane. I promise you there was at least, I'm not kidding you, 60 people. Even if I would get paid to wait online, no. So that's like, I don't know, one reason why I also don't like Marshalls, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, but now you guys see why I'm pretty biased towards TJ Maxx. I don't know, I feel like it's faster there. Or maybe I'm just used to it. I don't know. Overall, I will say TJ Maxx did have more products than Marshalls. Also because I typically go there pretty often. So I see more products there and kind of like repeat at Marshalls. If I would have gone to Marshalls first, I would have thought it would be repeated at TJ Maxx. Do you know what I'm saying? So anyways, with that being said, I do think that TJ Maxx wins. Yes, I'm biased. Okay, fine. <laughs> I am. Um, the last time I went to Marshalls was about a month and a half ago and I found nothing there. So I don't know when's the next time I'm going to be at Marshalls. Let me know what you guys prefer. If you just prefer me do like a TJ Maxx vlog style video and haul of products that I picked up from TJ Maxx or kind of like, you know, TJ Maxx versus Marshalls. I don't know. Let me know. All right. So I arrived to my destination. I need to pee so badly. I was walking home from TJ Maxx and I'm like, I need to pee. I need to pee. Like, I came up with this really good song. Let me show you guys a few things that I picked up. So, firstly, I picked up the Clinique Take the Day Off Micellar Cleansing Tablets. And I told you guys in the store that these do not have alcohol. And there's 50, like, tablets in here for 11 bucks, which I think is a little bit up there. But there's 50, so I felt like it's justifiable. I'm very excited for those. I picked up the Schmidtz. Schmidtz? <laughs> How do you say that? Lang? You Lang? <laughs> you probably think I sound so stupid now. I don't know. It smells like something. I'm not dying for the smell. But anyways, it's a natural deodorant. I want to test it out and see like how it performs under my armpits. I picked up two lip, lip products. The Skin Fix Natural Lemon Mint Lip Repair Balm. You guys know I adore lip balm, so I needed that. And then I picked up the Milani Moisture Lock Grapeseed Oil Infused Lip Treatment. I'm actually really curious to see how this compares to the Clarins one. Because... No, no, no. Don't fall. You know when something like falls in your car, you're like, please don't fall under the seat or between like the cracks. Like you can't get it ever, you know? It has a very cheapish smell. Mm, it's definitely not as moisturizing as the Clarins one. But there's still something about it. Oh my god, the scent is going to be the death of me. I have a headache already. Um, I don't know about that one. Okay, and then I picked up two Becca products. Um... I picked up the Becca Mineral Blush in the pinky shade. This was the only one that I found there that was not swatched and the one that I, the only one that I found there in general. So that's how the shade looks. Let me swatch it now because it's mine. Um, it's really pretty. That's how it looks right over there. It's really pigmented. Okay, excited for eight bucks. That's a steal. Wow. Okay, and then I picked up the... Um, the soft light blurring powder in pink haze i'm very excited for this as well this is also a steal and this was 12.99 how insane is that like how insane is this deal it's like really hard to open and close but like i could see myself either reusing this after it's done or kind of just displaying it it's really cute i love it okay anyway 
All right. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would absolutely love to know what you guys recently picked up from your TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And I'm looking forward to reading your comments down below. Bye.